Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. And today we're gonna focus on creating another megalopolis. Taking into account that I consider Ho Hershmanitz a megalopolis, yes, it's definitely going to be another one. But uh, yeah, I think we have much better potential if we start from scratch than rebuilding this whole area. I did rebuild the new uh, Hershmanitz over here, and it works like a charm, not really. And uh, fire, of course, of course, of course, of course. This is right exactly where we want to be. And this is what burned down, unfortunately. Okay, let's see what we can do over here. Oh, uh, and why did this burn down? I'm guessing because we don't have fire trucks. We do. We don't have firefighters. We don't have population. We don't have anybody here. And uh, why is that? This one has coal. Uh, okay, something really strange happened around here, so what about these guys? You should usually have your own heating, nothing? Okay, so we have a little bit of an issue, so fine, 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 we can resolve this real quickly. Uh, I'm gonna be removing this and this, and then we need storage, and let's see what we can do over here. Uh, we need storage, 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 storage. Uh, this is quite disappointing, sorry, I'm just like... Uh, a little bit frustrated about this. Uh, let me go for a bigger storage. Here we go, 90 tons of food, but we need a left one. That's the left one. Yes, it indeed is left one. Uh, right, so we have storage over here. Let's build this. Uh, what do we need? We need people to be able to heat this area straight away as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, we can just build it. It doesn't matter. Uh, do you have a connectivity here? I don't think you do. Okay, so they don't have connectivity. Uh, we need heat. It's 14th of February. Heat is gonna come soon. The heat is on. Uh, right. Uh, megalopolis. That means we're gonna need um, big stuff, big business. Uh, we're gonna need trains here. So, first things I want to base this around is, it, uh, by the way, I'm going to talk a lot about myself or my computer at the moment. Uh, it's uh, I transferred the save game on my SSD drive and it's much smoother, smoother. I still have a little bit of a laggish feeling to it, but not as much as I had before and it loaded expressly like in seconds, so um, game definitely uh, sped up the game. Uh, this lag, I'm going to say that this is all either because of the size of the size of the uh, mods and the map we have, or people that are living here, or is it because of the uh, because of the uh, game itself? But uh, for now, I'm just gonna blame it on myself. Well, kinda. Downtown bus stop. What the hell is this? Okay, this is something new that I installed and came with uh, some other stuff, but no. I was thinking about something like this, but I think this might be a little bit too big. Or I'm not thinking uh, big enough. So there are two versions to this story. Uh, this Katowice train station is enormous. Train platform. It doesn't have to be this. It doesn't have to be this. We can build it. We will. Um, uh, we can build it. And I exclusively thinking of using this as a public transport, not as uh, uh, industrial zones. Like just connecting the city. Maybe I should be using buses better. Let, let's start. Let's let's try this. Can you fit anywhere? Yes, you can. Okay, so obviously you would be able to fit in here as well. Wow, this is absolutely enormous. This is incredible. I have I have a lot of words. Uh, right, though, since we already expanded to here, we can at least uh, do something like this. That's fine. But what I'm thinking about now is uh, removing this road from here and see if we can place train station over here. I would like to expand in this area, especially where there are no forests, because I think it's going to be a little bit uh, well nicer, because I think it's flatter. Where no, well, Usually where forests, it's a little bit hillier for some reason or other. Uh, right, so this... This looks like it's not even enough. Okay, let me see what we can do with um, with leveling terrain here. 
Okay, this looks like, for now, uh, up, up to here, it looks like it's gonna be an easy job. But, fear not. I bet that nature has a different, different um, plan for us. So let's try to plonk it in here. Okay, uh, Megalopolis, here we go, here we come. Uh, I'm expecting to have in this town uh, several, several, uh, multiple thousands of people, so uh, like 30, 40, 50,000 or something. Uh, so I'm gonna focus a little bit on this. Hopefully I won't waste too much time um, on, on uh, building the... Oh, right, we can do this can do this now, okay, I didn't expect this, come on. You just had it. How did you lose it? Right, uh, we lost it because this part here started rising up and we don't need this part risen up, we need everything leveled to this level. And they wanted to average it out, this is probably the reason, so let me see one more time. If we have Katowice um, train station, they say the only problem is all the way south. Okay, let's see all the way south if we can do something about it. So this area around here is problematic and then a little bit south than that. Okay, this looks like it's going pretty fast. We do have few construction offices around here. Probably I should go with more of them, but probably I should get our population here first. Now it's already uh, 19th of February, I believe 21st or 23rd. It's always one of those days. I mean, don't, 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 don't hold me to my uh, um, math skills. Uh, no, it's not math skills. It would be um, celestial skills. I don't know when the seasons start or end. Oh, it's snowing. Duh. That's going to be a lot of work for our uh, uh, clearing services. I don't know, this might be maybe even an overkill, but... Um, and also, uh, I'm recording this on Tuesday, and I think it's Thursday's episode when this is going to be published. Um, uh, on Friday, I think we're getting a, a <laughs> new add-on for the game, aren't we, guys? So, that's going to be fun, and... Um, a uh, new add-on, uh, it's gonna be about planes and tourism. Now, I'm pretty sure... I don't wanna call it, but um, I think uh, we might have an issue with uh, continuing this game after that. But we'll see, we'll see. There, uh, first of all, if we ever have to try a new map or start a new map... Uh, I have several candidates, uh, and they're really, really good maps. Oh, here we go, we had it for a second. Okay, it's again raising this part of, the, of uh, maybe maybe I should just allow it. Maybe I should just allow it here. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's let's go one more time. Let me see if, how, how this is going to turn out. Because when I put it around here, it actually allows me to start leveling the ground. So you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's see how much uh, and what they're going to be able to do with this. Uh, fine. Looks like they're raising this ground a little bit uh, too much on the city side, so this could be an issue. But also... Uh, doesn't have to be. Let's see. Wow, this is gonna take a while to level this area. Look, look, I mean, like, there's like four excavators working on this, but this is a huge, uh, huge building. But I think as far as I, um, as far as I understand the size of our town, how big it's gonna be, I think, uh, we're gonna need it. Well, not need, we can definitely use something like this. I think I pushed it a little bit there towards the right hand side, I think I'm fine with this location, but as you can see this is progressing, you can see the ye yellow color changing color to green, uh, that's progressing um, at an interesting pace, let's go with that, interesting pace, uh, and there's a lot of rail connections here, um, yeah, and we're actually missing a rail um, well, anything rail related in this city, so that's also gonna be something that we're gonna have to construct. And that's not something I'm against 
uh, at all because I'm gonna need a lot of jobs here we go spring is here now can we get some people in here I think we can we should be able to now we are growing like crazy we have 41 140,000 people living in this city uh, you can see that uh, we have already a lot of uh, free spaces and bear in mind that these cities like uh, Komarov and Zdar they are uh, they have uh, huge employment, employment, you can see 600 people without jobs, so technically we can move uh, well a lot of people. So let's go with two of these bad boys first, you can see 12,600 12, uh, people living in Zdar, that's, that's a lot. That's uh, twelve and a half thousand, but uh, employment he, there shouldn't be in unemployment shouldn't be high, even though it is seven hundred people. They should. There's a lot. There's ten thousand jobs here. There's ten thousand jobs. Thousand jobs in steel mill. Uh, I think the biggest problem we have we can transport all those people. We are doing our best. I can. I think I can upgrade the trains though. But um, other than that, I think we are doing well a lot. Okay. Uh, do I transfer some of them? No, I don't have to. I think we can just uh, comb our towns, like for example, Novi Bor could be a good, uh, good example. Let me see. Even though it says zero here, unemployment is 400. Uh, how are we doing in the nuclear power plant? It's doing fine. Oh, let's go for 200 people from here. And how many people? Uh, let's go with 100. That's fine. Um, again, one of the cities like uh, Hlebov here it has really, really high quality buildings and we did uh, move some population and I think I'm going to continue on just to keep, uh, just to have a lot of free space here. And this clothing industry is uh, progressing. Again, chemicals are low. We have like 50% employment in this industry and then we have almost 100% in in uh, clothing production this is really really amazing i love it but still like that that's a lot and that should serve as the whole country even if they lose a little bit not lose a little resettle a little bit of population Ten thousand people living in bistrice that's again a lot uh sorry i didn't check the unemployment level almost a thousand people again moving these people could be the biggest issue we have 400 workers are on this train now uh, they're all going to work here in the like, car industry and the railroad construction and stuff like that but look again low temperature i need to heat that place up uh well the heating plant is being constructed over here and that should be um uh, ready soon okay so we have a uh, Lani I don't want to spend a lot of time here but I'm betting that Lani has again overpopulation issue yes that's fine um, I'm gonna go and empty one of these big apartments from Lani now bigger ones we have um, Pšeloč and Požici those are the another probably would be a good name a set of twin cities you can see that on this side we don't really have a lot of people living with their parents but i don't see why this should stop us from well let's call it um uh, resettlement program there's absolutely nobody working here i mean like we still have a little bit of an industry there it's probably dead by now and there's nobody working in the city we still need to get this industry up and running but um other than that, there's nobody there, so we're gonna have to focus on that as well. We have new buildings being constructed over here, and that's gonna be another space for thousands of people. This is perfect, but let's uh, continue on. Uh, this guy, these guys here, uh, again, there's another building to be um, constructed over here. They need, what are they need? People, bricks, steel, uh, more bricks. Oh, did I stop this? Why did I stop this? Yeah, continue on. Build on, fellas. Okay, and let's let's go with one of these buildings. That's fine. Okay, and uh, we have Lasanice. I will check. Um, I will check some other towns as well. But Lasanice over here. Uh, where is the town hall? This is the city with two town halls. Uh, the only thing that we need to check here is our industries over here, and they're running on like 70-80% capacity. This is amazing. Uh, currently, of course, we are full of meat. That's fine. Um, our trucks are waiting here, so it's like we we are we should be meeting our own uh, meat demands. But that's always iffy um, because uh, nobody living with their parents. 4,000 people here. That's fine. Chernovice, Chernovice City Hall is over here, but I can always click on the name. 
uh, that's fine. We, uh, Chernovitsa is also one of the candidates where we can actually build a mega city. Uh, we can uh, connect it with uh, Vchelna, Vchelna. Uh, but we'll see how what we can do there. Um, I skipped Pozici over here, and uh, Pozici is actually one of the biggest candidates for uh, uh, people transfer. And let's see um, which side they live. Obviously, not at this one, but still, we definitely shouldn't be discouraged from depopulating some of these places okay so temperatures outside is one degree celsius i will continue what did we say we can do a little bit to start production over here uh what do we need we need uh, we need the distribution office we actually probably need two of them where is the closest uh, storage area it's over there and we're gonna need distribution offices over here but on this side i'm planning to build a heating plant so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna start on some uh, construction like this. Okay, this looks kind of parallel to some imaginary um, imaginary road uh, that we have there. So they can start construction of this. And uh, yeah, potential heating plant area is gonna be around here. Let me just uh, connect it to the highway over here. And here and let them construct this and then later on I'm probably gonna focus on this one um, okay 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 let's see if I can this, this is just me waiting for the temperature to rise because I don't want our people to um, to suffer uh, so it's too cold uh, so it's not too cold okay let me try to put a distribution office over here Okay, that's nice and then we can put another one over here like like I said we are trying to do a big business over here in the way that uh, we uh, need one for supplying this uh, this is electrical components we're gonna need steel we're gonna need uh, uh, actually maybe one of them would be enough yeah maybe we should go with one of them one of them would be enough because uh, most of our um, most of our resources are going to come from here. But then we come again to this issue of a highway that finished in this area. Probably should connect it better with the um, industrial area over there. But um, yeah. Let them finish this. I'm going to focus on this in the next episode. Also, one of the things I want to focus on these intersections that I built here that look like a uh, well, stool sample. But um, I would like to do a better job on that. How did temperature get on again? Minus zero. I don't even know if I should be transferring people now because uh, let me see if I have cheat mode activated let them start having uh, line spacing and that's it okay you know what maybe okay okay here we go pause it I'm pausing it because temperature is good I'm gonna just uh, settle them all in here that's across the street from most of your amenities uh, and <laughs> maybe this humongous structure that I'm being that I'm constructing over there should be probably um, limited to an amount of people that are supposed to be working on it. So, yeah, that that's there's that thing. Uh, let's uh, let's just populate this. Yeah, it's still not um, it's still not assigned uh, to anywhere. So I think it should be fine. Uh, right. Now the question, question guys, what do you think about this? Uh, do you think that um, the <laughs> building like 15 uh, uh, television stations has any benefit to it? What do you think about that? Because we have huge unemployment and uh, things like television stations and radio stations, they don't take a lot of space and they do offer a lot of employment and that's definitely going to shape... Uh, public opinion about us so what do you think should we should we build more uh, should we build more uh, propaganda machinery up or uh, maybe it doesn't make any s is this the second one didn't I have okay it's full uh, well look they're full at the moment so I'm gonna leave them alone I'm gonna leave these windows minimized there so just in case uh, I need you guys to go to the uh, to these. What, they're all. I'm, I'm betting that they're all in shock now because they're they were transferred, 
and they're gonna fill in most of the jobs around here and yeah look this this didn't cause us to uh, lose or least people because uh, this is all connected. Uh, sorry, this is all limited to 38 workers over here And they're going regularly to here. It could be only that the coal storage ran out. Oh Right, right, right. There's no What? Oh Right, 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 right. We need messages about this kind of crap freaking what? How is this not connected? Oh, you son of a gun. It just happened, like, oh, a few moments ago. Uh, because I remember when this burned down, but I thought I connected all of it. Well, think again! Dumbass. Uh, fine, fine, okay. Here we go. Connected. Uh, buses full of people. Ten people. Good enough. Uh, we need to start heating because it's 14 degrees outside. It's okay. Tolerable. Tolerable. And I can see that we don't have the nice connections to here but uh, we don't actually have any connections to here this big heating plant is just uh, there we go at least at least uh, a little bit faster uh, where are you guys going you're going to a rock crusher that's fine this is smoking they're heating it up but it's actually dropping down faster than going up uh, well I'm hoping for the next bus that is gonna bring a little bit more people and let me see the distance between buses there's four of them. That that's enough. I think that's more than enough. Okay, all the resources are here for the <coughs> building to be finished, and that's gonna give us more population. Let me just see what's happening now. Yeah, happiness drops significantly when uh, you relocate them. I I have no idea why, but um, anyway, um, they're getting some of the stuff is missing. Your kid. All oh, right. Okay. So let's go for a pause. And then let's go. Let's go res reshape this first. Um, let's limit the amount. So pa I pause this. So let's go food to a hundred percent, and then we're gonna go clothes to a twenty-five. Oh, wait, twenty-five percent, and then uh, this one to twenty percent, and then it's going sixty, twenty, twenty, and then I'm gonna be importing all this stuff. So we have foods, we have uh, no. we have these guys, and we have clothing. Perfect. Uh, well, not not even close, but uh, better than before. Okay, so hopefully now you're gonna have everything that you need. Um, maximum amount of employed people. That's perfect. Uh, maybe even more people over here employed. Let's see. Unemployed, 360. Yay! Fun, fun. Is that the kinder? Oh, right, the kindergarten as well. Okay, so what's the deal with kindergarten? Do we have any? This is school. This is gym. The kinder. Oh, wow. This is a giant one. Okay, we need bigger um, kindergarten, so let's go do that and let's pay for this straight away. So kindergarten, let's go and build it over here. Uh, generous with space, that's fine. Okay, that should be. That should be interesting size. Uh, okay, so hopefully they're gonna food, pop tavern, no, kindergarten being built, jobs on the way, sports, gym here, it's obviously too small, yes, okay. Um, uh, the, uh, that's fine, that, that that should be okay. And then we have a sports playgrounds, we're gonna go, oh no, oh, the, the Mr. Robs and the giant gym that looks like the gym from, uh, looks, looks like a... A sports hall from my home, well, not hometown, where I actually went to college, so I love this uh, gym here, so uh, uh, kudos for that one. Okay, so we need to continue expanding this, let's see now. Uh, okay, heating is on, it's on maximum, so this shouldn't be an issue anymore. Okay, so the building should be finished, what, at, well, at some point, um, you know what we can do? I can speed this up by giving them... Let's say 100 workers over here so you can finish this. I'm gonna continue designing the city. So we have... We have... Uh, we need to upgrade these roads. I'm gonna pay for this myself. This one and this one. And all the way to the firefighters over here. And all this stuff burned down and I never asked myself how did this happen? Why did this happen? Nope. I just like... Oh, it happened. Uh, right, it doesn't work. Oh, wow. Um, and it doesn't work like that. Uh, 
before um, the uh, uh, the the reason behind uh, uh, there's a, I, I don't know there, there's a saying that will cover this perfectly and just imagine that they said something really funny and ingenious and yeah <laughs> it's, um, um, let's continue on and let's keep this one so we have the last part here I would like to pay because I'm not sure that we can work on this road because it's um, yeah, and this one has 1,300 worker requirement. Now, is there any chance we can have this, that I don't have to modify this? 1,400 workers in this city. No, I'm gonna have to lower this. This is at the moment, and when we finish this building, I'm gonna be moving more people here. And Usti is one of the uh, big, big uh, volunteer cities where I'm gonna be moving people from, because Usti has um, those buildings that I kinda shoveled in there, and I think I did didn't think it through well. Usti is also one of the things. Uh, let's discuss this as well. Uh, if you want to, if you want me to do this, I'm gonna give you an option. I'm still not planning to do Usti episode uh, yet because what I was hoping to with Usti, I was hoping that I'm gonna be demolishing absolutely the whole city except the cathedral, everything. I'll probably leave the train station as it is and kind of connect it well with the rest of the city because I think from on that peninsula. I can connect Usti, uh, well, everywhere, more or less, uh, effectively, so I would like to try to do that. Um, but I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna ask you guys what you think, yeah, this is going much smoother now. So, I, what I wanted to do with this train station here, if I build a road directly through the city, like, even if I uh, demolish some of, I'll, I'll probably demolish all of the buildings, because we need to increase the population, but um, uh, if I demolish if I demolish, if I build a road from here uh, through the middle of the city all the way to this, let's say, heating plant, uh, I think the whole city would be connected well with, um, well with people. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get these uh, villas over here. They're not the same. Interesting. Uh, let's go for the big one and the small one, and maybe couple of these smaller ones. Uh, what I wanted to do, I wanted to move people from here and uh, they're really happy here. Quality of flats 96% but you're living on this like uh, historical landmark buildings so I would be happy probably as well. Uh, and here we go, uh, project finished. Uh, I'm gonna pause this just because I'm gonna be demolishing these buildings and I don't want Usti to lose any additional population does it, that it doesn't have to. So as uh, as as I move these people here and then demolish the building, this is this is the plan all along, and uh, just because they look a bit ugly, and I'm gonna be redoing that city as well. Now we have a little bit more money, <laughs> much more money, and uh, I don't think we're gonna have any issues with that. Um, so let me demolish this as well, and I'm thinking about another thing because if I'm gonna make this today's project. Uh, and uh, it's already almost half an episode gone. I think we should speed. Well, it doesn't matter. We don't have to finish this. What? Ah, this is Novibor. Yeah, this is a totally different building. Let's not destroy that one because uh, we're only destroying those waterfront villas. Well, I'm hoping. We'll see what's gonna happen. Actually, uh, the time can continue on. And let's see, Komarov. Uh, Komarov can go in here as well. There we go. Close down this one, and we have more Kumarov. Okay, and there we go. Okay, uh, what are we talking about now? Now we have 2,700 people working here. That's fine. Let's uh, not kid ourselves here. I'm not. Uh, I'm not finishing. This road can be finished straight away. Um, we need to upgrade. Whoa, yeah. Look at this. We already see a lot of issues around here. So we see um, culture is missing. What about this gym here? Gym has a capacity. That's fine. Uh, gym has capacity, but cultural buildings, no. This is a kindergarten, this is a joke, not a kindergarten. Uh, this one has much bigger capacity, but still, look, um, it's, it's... I think we are barely managing with kindergartens here, and I can see that a lot of people are still requesting for more kindergarten. Whoa, look at the sea of people coming here. Okay, uh, I think it's kind of um, settled that I have to build another construction office over here. Um, yeah, let's let's start on that straight away. So, um, construction office, uh, mods, we're gonna go for a construction office, a big one. 
And uh, I'm hoping that our... Uh, I like forests. Uh, here we go. You build that, uh, I'm gonna continue planning. So, um, obviously we have a lot of amenities here and I don't expect our city to grow beyond this kind of road here. And uh, that means that I can start on this road on the other side as well. So this can all be populated. Uh, I still have to plan where I'm gonna put our, oh boy. Uh, right. That wasn't planned. There we go. Continue working on it. Uh, right, so I, I need to continue with this, uh, let's say at least grid, um, or Greek grid pattern around this town, uh, around the town, and uh, let's see, like this. I think I can go for something like... Like this. I have to be careful because you can see where the railroads are finishing, so how are we gonna do this? But this looks like it's aching for a tunnel system on this side uh, to be constructed. That's that's um, that's an interesting one as well. Um, also, 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 uh, who was stupid? I was stupid, yes. Um, I can... Uh, source our gravel from here and then we have a lot of construction materials here where we can start on our railroad construction oh okay you're done uh, let's let's start sourcing stuff uh, let's start sto sourcing stuff we have this guy here we have um, this is gravel is gonna be sourced here asphalt concrete and then we have uh, rest of the stuff perfect and then escape and we're gonna get in there again and now this is moved and again guys this is a standard uh, but for whoever is watching this for, for for the first time i'm gonna do it again so we have two american vehicles or two types uh, that would be p uh, paver it's much faster than the soviet one and the mars bus would be american sorry <laughs> again <laughs> it's western german uh, right, and then we have rest of it. It's in in Soviet money. Covered hull. We're gonna need two of them. Uh, we're gonna need dumpers. A whole crap load of dumpers. Six. And then we have open hulls. Now usually I have the same amount of open hulls as covered hulls, but uh, in this case no, because the pavers, rollers, and bulldozers and uh, excavators that we're buying are. Uh, kind of docked or anchored in the construction office. They cannot move on their own. This is so they don't they wouldn't block the traffic and this is perfect. This is really good mod or like these vehicles are mods that um, we don't have any well additional traffic issues. So we're gonna go for these ones and again same as the uh, same as the dumper trucks we're gonna have six uh, mixers but again I'm gonna go for a bigger ones. We have Polish uh, JE300 here we have Czechoslovakian T148 which is upgrade from T147 or 6 or something like that. Um, this is the biggest one we have but it only goes 72 kilometers per hour. We like it to go a little bit faster and this uh, KMZ one goes 95 kilometers per hour but it has one ton of capacity less which is for me at least acceptable exchange. Pavers, we bought an American one. Rollers, again stationary ones and two cranes, the biggest one we can. And there we go. Uh, I'm gonna increase the range to three kilometers and as far as I care they can go and uh, continue well help out with uh, trust me this is gonna need a lot of a lot of um... oh look at look at this I didn't even know about this that uh, they can smoothly go in and out this is actually quite good because usually usually these vehicles um, usually these vehicles are uh, waiting in queues here to get in uh, to get into this construction site, so this is much much better. Let me continue uh, constructing something like this uh, Extension of the city over here. We have roads there I think I would like to focus now on this railroad construction because obviously this is gonna be a key of our huge city um, I'm not really sure this is kind of supposed to be a center of the city even though yeah, I think this city is gonna grow um, right, I think one of the biggest things we're gonna have here is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, issue with kindergartens first. Let me see here. Uh, unemployed people, 420, and that would be a lot of them because of the kindergartens. So I'm gonna start with the kindergarten first. 
let me see if I can get a whole crap load of those workers um, to work. And that would be, of course, kindergarten. Uh, we have a thing here that I forgot to connect and we really don't want this to burn down. This is not gonna be a thing. This can be a thing, but it's looking ugly and I think this is gonna this is the winner. So we have winner winner chicken dinner or something like that. Um, and uh, we're gonna go to kindergarten. So let's give them some of this stuff. They need, uh, first of all, uh, I'm gonna go with kindergarten because it's selected. I'm gonna go for a big one. Uh, centrally located actually doesn't matter because um, if we're gonna grow it, they can walk here to this kindergarten as well. So I can, I think I'm gonna put it here, you know, closer to the industrial zone and I'm not kidding. Um, it is close to the industrial zone, but it doesn't affect children uh, or, or whoever is. At least I don't think it does. The the living age is pretty high in this country. <laughs> What's the living age? What's the average lifespan? 82 and a half. Well, I think it can get better. I need to see what's uh, wh where we can improve. But anyway, since for now I'm not gonna put any pathways, I'm gonna upgrade these roads so they can use them from the city and walk here. And hopefully they are using it. Uh, is this kindergarten? Yeah, this is not even connected to power supply, um, which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, it's it's right over there. But I would like to see what is connected to power supply. Uh, all of these buildings, okay. So somewhere around here would be a good place. But I think we're gonna have to branch out a lot here. Okay, this is where this one comes along. We have additional connection that I built here. And I think I'm gonna branch this out a bit more. Uh, electricity is gonna be key, um, key pain in the ass because uh, I, I, I understand it, I know how electricity works, I know all about it, but I don't get it. I mean, like, um, it's not that I don't get it, it's, um, it's complicated in a way that it makes everything look messy, even when you're using mods um, like I do, a lot of them, um, it looks messy. So let's start, let's try to make this a little bit uh, easier for us. First of all, we're gonna go for another uh, one of those switches. So power transformers and switch. That's a four-way switch like the one we have here. I'm gonna point it towards the road. Let's build that. And then I'm just gonna build muddy road over here. I'm hoping that our fire departments are gonna be okay with getting here. Why am I building it here? Because I want to build another approach to the city. So um, all of this can be built. So I want to build one of these other mods that we have over here. And that would be uh, the ones that ha have um, all the connections to, the, to uh, turn to one side. So we can um, focus on the city and um, electricity there. So I can build something like this. And this is also, I think, this late in the game, it's not that cheap, 200,000, which is okay. It's a transformer station and uh, it does its job, but it has, at least for us, it would have a little bit more um, accessibility, let's call it. Um, let me just compare it to the normal transformer station. Actually, this is a normal, so expensive. I have no idea what the hell is this made of, but this is 10 times more expensive than... Steel, steel, electrical components. What about this um, transformer? Steel, electrical components, but just on <laughs> not on the grandiose scale like this. But it's fine. It's something different. And uh, if I was constructing this on my own, where the materials are free because we're producing them, it would be a little bit cheaper. But uh, fine, fine. I'm not gonna complain about. I'm not gonna complain about this right now. But we have new. Uh, let's call it a grid or whatever. Um, new access point for our electricity that can handle huge, huge capacities. So if I go back to the underground connectors and let's see which ones were they, power substations. Yes, 750 meter one. Uh, that's a little bit too long. Actually, it would be good for somewhere around here, which I'm not building at the moment. I want this kindergarten connected. Let me just see if there's kids here. Yes, and capacity is already surpassed. So uh, we need electricity here ASAP. So power substation. We said one is here. I want to do this tactical, like uh, maybe honeycomb or circular shaped. If one of the electricity uh, uh, transformers is here, I can build one, let's say, over here. And this one is already uh, close to the... 
yeah let's go with this one and hopefully i'm gonna connect it to the road network usually uh i don't know you probably if you're watching my gameplay uh you're gonna know what like what makes my skin crawl and one of the things is i like these roads being constructed in one go if i do what i'm gonna do now this is just gonna create additional construction with uh, which uh, which kind of warrants for more planning and it doesn't uh, uh, you know technically i cut this into two construct now I wasn't supposed to be constructing this, but anyway, uh, I cut this and cut cut this into two uh, two sections. And um, uh, now, when they finish this first one, they're gonna have to start on the second one. But if I left it here, they would bring all the materials for the first section and all the materials for the second one for the um, second stage, and it would be done much much faster than in these two sections that I'm building at the moment. Okay, how are we doing with the train station? It's being built. Obviously, the gr Really? The gravel is the biggest one? Okay. How are we doing with gravel? Oh, we're doing horribly. Oh, that's so sad. This is gonna be so bad. Uh, right? Gravel is not that expensive, so... Congratulations. All the gravel you want is back in offer. Actually, it's uh, funny, even though I'm importing gravel, it's still... Um, still backlogging because uh, um, they need to fill the buildings that we are that we are constructing here sorry they need to fill the, the, the trucks that are we that we are using uh, okay I'm just hoping that you're gonna have enough gravel to load these vehicles please don't load them with like three kilos of stuff this one needs hundred percent you better fill this on all the way up. Okay, okay, it looks like the it's transferring the gravel exactly where it needs to be loaded. That's perfect. But this loading um, bay doesn't fit this truck, definitely. Coffee time! It's time for you to like and subscribe. Whoever didn't. But this is interesting. Like, um, um, I like... I watch content on YouTube. Doesn't matter what. Science videos, educational, whatever, whatever I watch. And um, yeah, if, if I like it, I like it. If I ever turn to a channel twice and I didn't subscribe, I must be an idiot or crazy or something because obviously I like the content. And um, the, I love when people remind me, like, look, if you didn't subscribe, subscribe because, well, what the hell are you doing here if you're like not liking the content? But anyway, yeah, if you like the content, you know what to do. Okay, so we upgraded uh, the last parts of our road that's fine uh, of course gravel is a big one because we need so much of it and um, yeah this is gonna be a big thing because some of these guys are delivering uh, this stuff right next to the main road well the only road leading here uh, who thinks that we are supposed to be building a highway as well yeah. oh right 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 look at this one this i think this one is aching to be uh, connected there okay let's try this uh mud road uh let's remove the mud road let's try let's start on this one as well um mud road how much of you can i remove wow okay you're being difficult okay you must be related to my missus okay so uh, somewhere around here, I think, or even the industrial zone. Ah, uh, maybe industrial zone would be better. Maybe here. Okay, let's do it here. So this is this is where it's supposed to end. So this is where our highway is supposed to be connected. So let's go with this. Right, we're gonna do this properly. So that means I need to get two sections at the same time and put them next to each other and more or less in the same direction so this is something like uh, i'm thinking about this is something like uh let's see where is this okay bend 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 okay i think if the second one fits uh like this one i think and looks like yeah, look, um, something is wrong because I I think I didn't bend it well enough. So I'm going to try to just bend it back in place because at some segments the highway doesn't fit perfectly. And I would like it to fit perfectly. Okay, maybe, maybe it's impossible. Let me try one more time. So to go over here, if I shrink it, no, it, it goes down. Okay, 
Um, you know what? Let me let me leave you alone. Let me leave you like this. It's a little bit wide on one side, but that's okay. Now I'm hoping that this is gonna be. Wow. Yeah, this is one of the lags I'm having, but this is definitely not uh, a PC or anything like that. This is uh, the game itself. Um, I wouldn't be surprised that it's just the amount of mods I'm using. Um, so let's go with this section of the road and then parallel to that will be this section of road. Okay, it's correcting itself a bit. Luckily I didn't let go. And the uh, last section... Last section of the road would be something like this. <clears throat> this one and then this one. Okay, I think this is not bad. I think this is not the worst road we ever built. I tried fixing this one. Uh, I might... Well, fine, let, let's give it a shot. Um, I'm gonna try to fix this uh, this lane. Oh, oh yeah, right! I need to start from here because, okay. And when do we f where do we finish? Over here. Perfect. Okay. I can try from the opposite direction and see if I can make something a little bit tighter. You can see that all works fine up until here, and if I try to follow it a little bit further, it creates again the distance between two. But I think this is the problem because of this this here section. It's not going that parallel to the other one. So let me try one more time. Obviously, I think that it has to be a little bit more to this side. And then it might uh, look a bit better. I'm hoping. I think it looks a little bit... I don't know. Maybe it's the same. Maybe I should just leave it alone. Yeah, they, they make a different stuff. They, 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 it, it can... Let, let's go with that. Um, yeah, there are like highways you can build them as you want, and uh, could be something geological underneath that we had to split them around. In Ireland, oh, fun fact! In Ireland, they actually uh, moved the highway or the l some major road because there was a tree where the fairies lived. Well, fairies being the um, little things that fly and curse you and stuff. And um, yes. Uh, that's a thing, and they actually did it. It's not superstition or anything, and uh, they actually, you know, people believe in that, and they wouldn't, didn't want, nobody wanted to touch or cut the, the tree where the fairies live, and there you go. And they did that. Read about it. Uh, okay, so what else do we need here? We need more. We need more living space. Leben's run. Uh, living space, and since we are talking about this, okay, happiness grew. Up or grow higher. That's perfect. Uh, let me see what we need. What we need. Okay, kindergarten again. Uh, this is. Yeah, you have space here. You can you can get your kids here. Walk. So this one is not complaining about kindergarten because everybody from here is going to this kindergarten. I'm just gonna wait for this road to be finished and then build stuff. Uh, what about foods? Again, uh, nobody is complaining. Here we go. One is complaining about food, but I think that's from before, and when he when he is fed next time, there is not going to be any issues with food. Uh, school. So, we have a school issue. Fine, I can do that. We have school issue, and I'm betting that sports could be a thing still. No, 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 sports are fine. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as it is, I'm not gonna mess with this. Uh, I think sports are fine at the moment, they just need to get their feel of the sports. But culture and school, I get that. Um, so let's go for uh, cinema, uh, let's go for school, okay. Let's see if we have a big school. 70s, 80s uh, professors, we said I think 25 or something, we have a bigger one. This is 15, 20, here we go. This is a big school, I'm, I'm, I doubt that I'm gonna build this one, because I think it's overkill. Currently, we are just barely, we, we need a little bit more than this. If we had more teachers, that would be better. But uh, just a little bit more than this, and... Uh, <clears throat> let me just check. And students, yes, we need university. So let's see a bigger school, 20, 35. Alright, this is a sweet one, this is a big one. I like this one. Um, let's build this one over here. <clears throat> and let's build some house of culture or something like that from Poland uh, or something like that. I think we should be able to... Let's build this with rubles because I want this up and running as soon as possible. Here we go. You build this. I'm gonna connect some pathways to have the whole city connected to this. Hopefully, you son of a gun. But, 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 there we go. Absolutely perfect. 
So let me try to make this look interesting. Uh, a little bit like this, a little bit too steep of a descent. What the hell are you talking about, man? There we go, there we go. There. Ooh, boy. Oh boy. Okay, obviously this school is a little bit um, uphill, so I know the solution to this. Uh, first of all, you don't like this, and then if we build this road on the sideways, it can go wherever I want. And now, if you put it in a proper direction, it can be covered like this. Perfect. And just so... Whoa, that's a lot of people. Um, yeah, let me, let, me, let me be nice like this. More pathways, more pathways, more pathways. Just bear in mind pathways in my let's play, not let's plays, in my tutorials. I build a lot of pathways just because of the money saving. Um, uh, the, it's better to build these kind of roads. It's better to build these kind of roads because people can walk on them faster on those roads. And traffic is not being affected at all, so that's, that should be all fine. Um, right, let me just real quickly try to see if we can build something like this, and BAM! That's how we roll. And then here, and this is perfect. Uh, we have a little bit of space here, but I doubt that we can actually place anything culture related over here. This school is enormous, but it's gonna cover us for a while, um, education-wise. Um, I will go for, let's see, uh, university and cinema. I want to go for cinema first because I think, I actually have no idea why. Cinema Cosmos, main library. Yes, this is something that definitely would fit here. And uh, yes, I think I want this. I want this here. Education. This is like cinema acts, like cinema walks and quacks and all that stuff, like cinema. So it's, um, well, if you didn't get it by now, it's a cinema. But, um, um, oh, oh no. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit too high. I don't like this. Oh yeah, this is, this is a rough one. Anyway, we can uh, make this better. Is it to, to be better? No? Okay. Let's see if we can do some magic like this. Still no. Oh, come on. This is not too steep of a descent. Stop doing that. Okay. Oh, 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 for a moment there. Yes, yes, indeed. Indeed. Come on. Work with me. Work. Oh, <laughs> this is how we roll. This is how we roll. Uh, perfect. Uh, now all these people are gonna come to work here. We still need a lot of gravel. Uh, is gravel being loaded here? Yes, we have a backlog of gravel. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Unfortunately, uh, for our gravel machine. But I didn't expect that this is that we're gonna go with this um, whatever I called it, mega megapolis thing episode. So I am sorry. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, right? Oh, right. Uh, no, no, no. Don't pay for this. This is gonna be kind of like. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, you Americans know this. California Town, I think? There's a town in California called... California Town or something like that. There was this guy in the 40s and 50s who built a city um, in uh, just outskirts kind of Los Angeles and expected that everyone is going to move there because everybody in the 50s and 60s and 70s... I don't, I don't exactly know which, what time was it? time frame, but um, uh, I watched it recently, and uh, barely anybody lives there. It's in the desert, and it, uh, it looks nice, and it has diverted rivers, and uh, in general it looks nice. It's not b nothing bad with it, you know, but it's just nobody wanted to live there. Everybody wanted to live in Los Angeles, and San Francisco, and Malibu, and there, rather than uh, whatever they built. Okay, this is going to be constructed in two ways, that's perfect, from both sides they have access, so we have roads covering this. I need these roads to be finished just be because I would like to redo, remodel this road. We need to, well, grow. We need to expand this, and this is a problem. Uh, did you bring everything that you need? How much it cost to finish? Because I'm uh, just hoping that then I'm gonna block our... Whatever, okay, uh, cinema, 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 oh, uh, library, yes, we have a library, that's perfect. 
and then we're gonna need a university that's gonna be one of the last things we're gonna build here today university and I think I want to yes I will build a wall no I will build Yena tower Yena tower is definitely what we need here this is gonna be amazing Yena tower is um, well you guessed it from a city of Yena and in this game it acts like university let me just check if we have anything more glorious than this but I don't think we do as a university we d I don't think we do and I think we should build it over here let's see we have bus stops over here we're gonna probably have a train station or something on the other side so when we expand city in this direction that the uh, students can use as well so public transport system to Yena tower and uh, I think I want it over here the problem is uh, okay I think we can start from this side I think it would fit better in the town center, but no, I don't think uh, any of these glorious buildings in, in, let's say, Germany or elsewhere are not really in a town center. Uh, and yeah, of course, I think it's kind of obvious to everybody now, it should be, that I'm not paying for this, I'm gonna let them finish it. Uh, it has... It, it, let, let, me start, let me see how much do this cost. Four million. There you go. Do you want me to pay for this? I'm not paying for this. But it will definitely have a lot of workers. It has a huge heating tank, and of course, as ex not not really expected, but uh, it doesn't have access to um, electricity as well. We're gonna have to get that too. Okay, let's um, and let's see. Well, let's plan straight away where we can get electricity. Unfortunately, this road is not okay. I'll do the electricity later because I need to um, I need to see how this is gonna look like. Eh, yeah, actually, let's um, let's uh, finish one by one. I don't want to have another huge, enormous project over here with thousands of people um, being diverted from, let's say, heating and stuff, you know. Uh, and definitely, I think I should have had more, 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 more bigger building than this. I might expand at one. Oh, yeah, I have university. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, but doesn't matter. This is, yeah, secondary university. Yeah, Diana, definitely Diana. Okay, and then uh, railroad-wise, then that means that I'm not gonna build tunnels here. I might do still. Okay, let me just let me see how this is gonna look like. If I decide to go for tunnels, let's say from here, um, is this a thing? Not from there. What about from here? It's not deep, obviously. Uh, no, no, tunnels are not a thing here. So we're gonna be overground, underground, and that kind of stuff. Uh, well, not uh, it's gonna be all overground. But, as I said already, that I wanted to start on the railroads, well, nature had, oh, no, 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 nature had a different path for me, our, our path was like diverging, something, right, uh, what can I do, okay, these buses are returning, really, 17 workers, that's not a lot, and that's kind of borderline uh, me not being happy because um, now I look like for 4,000 deaths, yeah. How did that happen? Um, yeah, I know, I know how it happened, just, uh, just mentioning. Uh, right, so we have a Katowice rail station. Uh, we have this, this, um, these lines, these lanes, this. Uh, these bays, loading bays, uh, how they call it, tracks, b b b bays, uh, let's go with that, um, they gonna be the main ones for public transport, others is gonna be either for tr transport to industrial zones or to other cities, but we'll see. I still don't have any plans for industrial zones, I don't know, you can always check the mountains or messages over here. Oh. Oh. Dukla storage. How can... Uh, oh. Okay, uh, actually it's not bad. No, 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 this was a storage for coal ore. I'm fine, I'm fine with this. You can be gone. You vile thing. Um, this was like a, the, the, the coal ore storage that was um, just loading coal ore here, which uh, we don't need at the moment. Okay, uh, Janovice at the moment has 5,000 people, but this is only a start. I'm expecting it to have, well, I would aim towards 10 times this population. 
in a foreseeable future, but um, I uh, one of the more important things what I would like to do here is um, have uh, some kind of um, well even this this would be something I would like to design this not not have only like a grid like this but have something like I think like 45 degree angle like Pripyat something um, would be would wouldn't be the worst thing in the world Broadway yeah, let's call it a Broadway like shape and then we can go for maybe 90 degrees from this side something like this. And then we have area over here, probably would build something like this, and then maybe like this. It doesn't have to be perfectly parallel, but I think I think something like this. Why, why the hell not? Why the hell not? Uh, okay, uh, I, I'm gonna let them construct this as well. I mean, uh, there's gonna be like needed a lot of gravel as long as there we are producing this gravel. It's all fine, but um, as long as, well, as soon as we don't have enough gravel, it's gonna be imported, which is also like previously mentioned, fine. Um, okay, 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 okay. I think we're gonna end it here, and I hope that nothing burned down nothing else burned down, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of worried in the last burning downs what's happening in the country. Anyway, what do you think Megalopolis is uh, creating them? Uh, if you're gonna go for a million people, we're gonna need quite a few of them. Um, well, let's go through this together. Any advice, hit the comment section. Guys, thanks for everything. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.